Hi everybody, this is Andreas from UFX Loops and in this tutorial I'll show you how you get around in projects and with the soundboard of UFX Loops. So in these first steps you see on the top bar we have the buttons for the music and the edit mode. We have the part button where you can change part name and part BPM and the master volume controller for the master bus with which you control the volume level before the internal compressor kicks in. And we have these two tabs where you see um, mixer settings and the slots. And playing is just easy, just press a button and hit play. And this slot button starts playing. And then just hit some other slots to kick them in. And you see there are loop slots, like um, this one, and um, this one is not loop, so it only plays one time and then stops. And the numbers on each slot, they show you how many bars are actually playing. When you press the double stop, then UFX loop starts to synchronize all slots and stop them at once. So that's just for playing freestyle, but what you can also do is record variants. Just record one variant here by hitting these variant buttons on the on the bottom you see a b c d now we record variant b and by recording a variant you record all the clicks on the slot buttons over time a recorded variant can be as many bars long as you want So now we just recorded two variants and now we can switch between them and start variant play mode when a variant is highlighted. Now variant B starts in. Now when you press variant A again, it needs to play variant B until the end. That means until the effects 8 bar slot is over. And now we are in variant A again. So this will help you a lot when you try to find um, the right mix and order of playing slots together and you can also delete variants when you long click on a variant button and you can enhance variant recording by just highlighting a variant and pressing record again then whatever you do is added to that variant and uh, when you press the record button without a variant highlighted that means you want to live record something and you see you get a record level controller where you can fade in and fade out and UFX loops will just record what what you do now So it records the audio and um, now it stops the recording and transcodes the audio to an AUG file. And uh, we go back two times and press the recordings button. And you see your last recording is in there and you can just play it here to hear what you recorded. This is available on the SD card now. and. You could do whatever you like with it. So 
So the next thing is, um, I want to show you how the mixer is working. You see in the mixer, you can also press buttons and play them. And you control volume and balance of each slot separately. Quite cool feature and the list is scrollable so basically you have all slots available in the mixer and can control them independently of each other. By the way, everything you do here is um, immediately saved into the project. And you can change the PPM on the fly while playing. I just demo that with 180 BPM. Another important feature is that you can work with six parts to control your song arrangements and uh, you can just click a new part button at the top row and um, enter a new part name and um, in this case select all slot buttons to be copied and um, then work on the second part and for example delete slots that you don't need and create new ones and um, by the way you are doing this um, via long click on such a slot button so many things in ufx loops work with long clicks um, which open a menu and then you can choose what to do. So when you're ready, you switch back to the first part and um, can switch between them. And uh, via long click on a part, you can either delete it or, for example, move it to another position. For example, if you want to exchange the first part with the first part, then uh, just click on the position now and um, you exchange these two parts. Now that we have two parts, we can start switching parts while playing. Um, just press the part button you want to switch and then you have two bars in the new part to select new buttons. When you're not fast enough, the player might stop because you don't have selected any slots as is shown here. Um, so to overcome this and play automatic, you need to have variants and to be in variant mode because when you are in variant mode, the player tries to play variant A when switching to a new part. And this is demonstrated here. You just start playing with a variant, let's say with variant A and as variants are defined in both parts um, it's switched and the variant A in the new part is started automatically. Now you can switch parts without hitting slot buttons and the player won't stop. That's all for this tutorial, thanks for watching. In the next tutorial, we will cover the creation of such projects with UFX loops from scratch in no time. <laughs>